Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, nice to see you to all of you. How are you today? Thank you so much. I'm great. Good, good teacher. Excellent. Hello, Mr. Hello, Miss Jenny. Hello, Mr. Edgar. Hello. Nice to see you, all of you. I hope you are doing well today. All right, let's let's have the let's have another class. This is our seventh class. Okay, ahora vamos a ver un poco so, vamos a, a repasar un poco sobre este, los demonstrative, este el, los demonstrative el, el, el agua. Eh, pronoun. Miss Jenny, ¿se recuerda de los demonstrative? This, that, um, for example, this used for uh, singular Excellent. is, uh, uh, no is for, sino is cerca de uno, algo así. Exacto. In, close, in, close. In singular, that is singular for, but using a for object. And okay. this is a plural and used for the object is uh, cerca de uno. Exacto. And, and thus is a plural and used for the object is a far. Excellent. Far, far. Excellent. Very good. Cerca, I'm going to see close or near. Close or near. All right. Excellent. Very good, Miss Jenny. Okay. So, uh, in this class, we're going to study a little bit about, we're going to repass a little bit about demonstrative pronouns. También vamos a tener ejercicio de conversación, donde van a poder practicar la pronunciación. Eh, su fluidez eh, utilizando algún un diálogo del manual también vamos a desarrollar ejercicios eh, con la nueva estructura de este día bueno también va a ser un repaso de can and could can como habilidad y could como una como un algo que usted va a necesitar permiso va a pedir permiso pero de una forma educada could ok entonces eh, el objetivo de esta clase será eh, que ustedes aprendan el uso de can and could, could como eh, una forma o una estructura de pedir eh, de forma amable o educada ciertas cosas, que sea permiso o sugerencia, ok? All right, so let's start with the class. I'm gonna start taking the attendance list. So, ah, before to start, también eh, quiero hacer el recordatorio de los estudiantes que aún están pendientes Con, las, con la primera actividad, ya estamos próximo a terminar eh, una unidad más, así que recordarles eh, la primera tarea. Por ejemplo, ya, ya tenemos completos a los siguientes estudiantes, por ejemplo, Ms. Alexander, Ms. Arely, Ms. Brenda, Ms. Carolina, Mr. Edgar, eh, Mr. Elvin, que ahí va, aún está a medio camino, igual que Ms. Erika Beatriz, Eh, Miss Heidi, que ya tiene su 100%. Miss Jenny Marisol, muchas gracias. Eh, José Nicolás, muy bien. Juan Alberto, también Mr. Juan Menedemo. Miss Laura, Miss Maritza, Ronald. Eh, también Miss Sonia. Y Miss Wilmer, Mr. Wilmer. Ok, ya son estudiantes que completaron su primera actividad. Así que les agradezco mucho. Próximamente esta semana vamos a realizar la tarea 2. Ok, la tarea 2. También usted puede ir completando clase a clase eh, las tareas que se, o la práctica que se encuentran en la plataforma. All right, so welcome. Eh, reglas básicas. Eh, puede activar si usted quiere hacer practicar o quiere participar. Puede activar su micrófono. Eh, algo también que es muy importante, la activación de la cámara. Y cuando no se esté haciendo uso de la participación, mantener en apagado su micrófono para que no se filtre demasiado ruido. ¿Ok? Entonces, vamos a tomar un poco la... Vamos a iniciar tomando la asistencia. Ok. Eh, Mr. Alexander Aaron. Present. Gracias, Mr. Eh, Miss Arely del Carmen. Present. Thank you, Miss. Brenda Elisette García Orellana. Present. Thank you. Miss Carolina Eleonor Cardona de Alvarado. Miss Carolina 
Edgar Jose Cruz. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Elvin Alexander Alvarado Díaz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Erika Beatriz Urbina Guardado. Erika Beatriz Urbina Guardado. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Heidi Marisol Menjibar Menjibar. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. José Nicolás García Maravilla. José Nicolás. Juan Alberto Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, mister. Eh, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado Vázquez. Present teacher. Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Miss Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Maritza Reyes López. Ronald Alexis Gómez. Sonia Miriam Cortés Vargas. Present teacher. Wilmer Fabricio Morales Cáceres. Present. Thank you very much. Ok, muy bien. Bienvenidos a todos a la séptima clase. Seven. This is the seventh class. All right, to begin. Ok. Me, me indican si pueden ver la presentación, por favor. Ok, thank you very much. Ok, vamos a recordar un poco los demostrativos. Demostrativos. Ok, ¿cuántos demostrativos? How many demostrativos eh, we have? Miss Carolina, how many? How many demonstratives? Um, there are. There are. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There are. How many? Yep, I am already. Yep, for Miss Carolina. How many demonstratives? How many? Uh, uh, How many demonstratives are there? There, there are my friends. Quantos demonstratives hay? Quantos? One, two, Four. three, and. Four. four. There are four. Demonstrative. We have, we have in, for singular and close. We have this. For example, this is my friend. Okay. For plural and close, we have these are my friends. Also, we have for singular, but far away we have that. That is my friend. That is okay. In plural. And far away, we have those are my friends. Okay, tenemos cuatro demonstrative. Tenemos uno para singular, para un objeto en singular que está cercano. Utilizamos this is para, un, eh, para objetos en plural, pero que están cerca. Se dice estos, these. These are my friends. Estos son mis amigos. Para eh, objetos en singular, pero lejos, far away. Tenemos that, objeto. Por ejemplo, para decir, eh, esa es mi amiga. That is my friend. Esa es mi amiga. No está cerca de nosotros. También tenemos plural, far away. Está lejos. Están lejos. Por ejemplo, esos son mis amigos. Those are my friends. Those are my friends. Ok. Product presentation. Okay. Can you see the presentation, Mr. Wilma? 
Yes, this okay, does. Okay, got it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, vamos a iniciar con el repaso de los demonstrative. This, that, these, and those. Let's start. This, these. Eh, let me see. Miss Brenda, ¿cuándo utilizamos this? When, when the um, object is okay. singular or plural? Singular. Singular, far away or close? Um, close. Close. Excellent. And here we have an example. This is my cat. Is she near her cat? Of course. Está cerca el gato? El gato? Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, yeah, she is. Yes. Uh, how many cats are there? How many? One. One, okay. Entonces utilizamos uh, these para objetos que están cercanos a nosotros y en su forma singular, okay? Uh, how about that? Let me see. That. Mr. Alexander, that. ¿Cuándo utilizamos that, Mr.? I'm sorry. Lejos. Lejos. Excelente. Muy bien. That is a that, that is a verb. Is he is he near? Is that cerca? No, right? No, he isn't. Uh, how many birds are there? How many? One, two, three, four. One. Okay. Singular. Excellent. Oh, look at this. All right, uh, how about uh, Miss Jenny? When do we use these? Is used for plural. Plural? If the object is, is near. Near, perfect, Miss. Excellent, good job. These are, these are my cats, my cats. Is she near her cat? Yes, right? Yes, she is. How many cats are there? ¿Cuántos hay, Mr. Menelen? ¿Cuánto cree que hay? How many cats are there? Hay, que ver. Twelve. Twelve. Sixteen. 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 Close, very close, very close. Muy cercano. Ok, vamos con el uso de those, those. Vamos a... Mr. Juan Alberto, ¿cuándo utilizamos those? Cuando un objeto o cuando los objetos están muy lejos. Excelente. Eh, plural. Plural, perfecto. Those are beer, right. Is yeah. he near? No, he isn't. How many? How many are there? Mr. Juan. Five. Five? Five. Five. Good job. Muy bien. Okay, let's go to the jungle. Use the correct demonstrative according to the according to the position of the girl. Okay. Recuerda la posición de la chica. Okay. Para las cifras, ¿qué creen que utilizamos? Que demonstrative pronoun. This, 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 that, 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 that. This for the elephant. That, that, that. Okay. that. Ahora vamos, ahora vamos, this. perdón. ¿Cuál creen que va acá? Das. That. 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 Perfect. That. A hamster. That, that is a hamster. That is a hamster. This, 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 goldfish, goldfish. This, ding, excellent. This, this, this goldfish. This copper. This is a goldfish. Almost gone. That's a lizard. A lizard. That's that's that. Those. 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 
Those. Oh, Esos. Oh. Those. Oh. Those are lizards. Lizards. Okay. This. These. These. Perfect. Excellent. These. These. These are birds. These are birds. Okay. A rabbit. This. Good job. That. Those. 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 Because are plural. Those are cats. A cat. A kitten. Okay, the baby. And Stephanie. Okay, finish. Continuamos. Can you see the presentation? Yep, okay, good, yeah. thank you. Okay, para la presentación, para la conversación de este día que va a encontrar el manual, the conversation that you will have, okay, soon we have this word, cubic feet, cubic feet, cubic feet, okay? You can repeat in, out there, cubic, cubic feet. feet. Cubic feet. Cubic feet calculator. Calculator. Okay, calculate the cubic feet volume of an object with this calculator. Okay, what do you think? Okay, what do you think cubic feet is? ¿Qué creen que son los cubic feet? Pies cúbicos. Pies cúbicos. Pies cúbicos. Una unidad de volumen. Una unidad de volumen, excelente. Si no me equivoco, también como para medir aguas. Eh, Mr. Juan, me corrige. Volumen. Sí, una unidad de volumen. Y okay. es una unidad de Ah, derivada también, una Ok, muy bien. Y cúbicos. Ok, so here we have this conversation. We have, and it says, ok, esta conversación la pueden encontrar en su manual. Me avisan cuando ya la, la tengan todos, por favor. Let me know when you have the conversation and okay. you have the manual. Please. Yes. Okay. Thank okay. you. Linda, thank you, Miss Effie. Okay, it says, vamos a iniciar. It says, thanks so much for calling, Linda. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Linda, thanks for what? Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some, some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 2.5 cubic feet a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for... Okay. Eh, ¿Qué significaba warranty? Garantía. Garantía. Garantía, excelente. ¿Qué significaba cubic feet? Cubico. Cubico. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué es un pro washer? Un washer. Una lavadora, por hacer. Podría ser una lavadora. Excelente. Ok. Washer, muy bien. ¿Cuál es eh, la capacidad de la de la washer. 5.2. Cubic feet. 5.2. Cubic feet. Excelente. Eh, trae un intelligent keyboard. ¿Saben qué es un keyboard? Keyboard. Claro. 
Teclados. Teclado, por ejemplo, su, el, cuando escribimos en nuestra computadora, utilizamos keyboard. Keyboard, teclado. Ok. Eh, once again. Ok, it says, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5 cubic feet, a turbo pro processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it, of it, it is for one year, a year, a month, six months. Ok, muy bien. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta acerca del vocabulario, la pronunciación, del significado? Ok, well, as usual, we're going to have the, we're going to practice this conversation in the breakup rooms, vamos a practicar estos, esta pequeña conversación, solo que vamos a hacerles pequeños cambios, por ejemplo, eh, ¿Qué, es pueden... que, que, ¿Qué es que what? Word. Keyboard. 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 Es teclado. 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 Keyboard. Keyboard. Entonces, vamos, lo que vamos a hacer es washer, como lavadora. Lavadora. Ok. Bueno, lo que vamos a hacer es tener, vamos a practicar esta pequeña conversación. Los pequeños cambios que le vamos a hacer es colocar, por ejemplo, donde dice, hi, Linda. Entonces ahí pueden colocar su nombre para hacerlo más personalizado y vamos a agregarle eh, lo de la garantía porque no termina la conversación. Ok. Por ejemplo, the warranty of Of it, it is for, se le puede colocar una o dos líneas más de información. Al finalizar de practicar la conversación, vamos a regresar a la main room y también vamos a contestar las siguientes preguntas. Por ejemplo, what does one want to buy? What question can you say instead of repeat? Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Why? Ok, ese también lo puede encontrar en la parte inferior de la conversación. Si usted eh, tiene sí, la sí. conversación en el manual, le voy a agradecer mucho. Si no, yo lo voy a enviar a la, al grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Okay? Vamos a iniciar. Sí, sí. No sé si... Hello. Hola, me logro escuchar. Yes, sir. Ah, no, solo una duda gramatical. No sé, es, ¿por qué eh, utiliza primero can y ella le contesta con el verbo como? Eh, solo es un grado de cortesía. Can es siempre para permiso, pero could es más educado. Podría. Y en otro es can, puedes. Ah, por cuestión de educación. Oh. Uh -huh. Solo es ah, un grado de pero por cortesía. También. Lo puede intercambiar. Puede también utilizarse como can. Ah, sí, no solo que es más polite. Could, podría. Ah. Ok, gracias, Mike. Pues no ya vamos, ya vamos a tener una pequeña práctica de can y could.
Vale, las dos líneas que le vamos a agregar abajo son estas. Uh -huh. uh, thank you, you very much. Thank you very uh -huh. much for the information. Muchas gracias por la información. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Vale, entonces espérenme. Solo lo termino de copiar. For information. Information. Ya sé por información. No. Hay otro agregado, Mary, no lo quiere hablar. Ok. Ah, no, el teacher, teacher. No, no, no se desconcentre, don Juan Ricardo. Dele, dele, si dele. No, no vamos a terminar. No, 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 no estaba desconcentrado. Vaya, 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 iniciamos. Eh, yo, Linda, usted, usted, Juan, cabal su nombre. Vaya, dele, pues, Linda. Vaya. Thank Va, you so much for calling. Linda Vaya. is speaking. Está Vaya, poniendo atención. Ya lo tiene, yes. todavía no. Ya que está, ahí está. Ok, vaya. Vaya, Thank you so much Linda. for calling. Linda, speak. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Call you great. My so, excuse me. Show information about that pro watcher. Pro watching. Pro watcher. Pro. Okay. Of course. Of course. It has a capacity of. Um, 5.2 and the lavador. This is a Juan Juan to buy a proposition. A proposition. He, he, he won't, he won't buy. He won't to buy. He won't to buy a pro washer. Pero se puede poner he o poner el nombre. Ah. Uh, sí. He wants. Solo que sí. Solo que sí. Ajá. Juan Juan. Juan Juan. Juan Juan. Wants to buy a pro washer. En el 2, what question can you say if, instead of repeat? ¿Cuál pregunta podría ser en lugar de repeat? ¿Cuál pregunta? ¿Cuál pregunta podría decir en lugar de repeat? Do you repeat that, please? Podría, could you... Ay, no, le, no le entiendo mucho ahí, teacher, ¿qué es lo que? Sorry, what Pregunta. is your question? Sorry, what is your question? What question can you say instead of repeat? Lo que pasa es que está buscando un sinónimo de la palabra para no decir... Para no decir eh, repeat. Ajá, uh, repeat. Podría ser, can you say it? Say, say it again. again. Uh -huh. Podría decirlo nuevo o sí. Podría decir, I'm going to double check the information. Voy a, a confirmar la información y se lo vuelvo a decir. También puede decir, could you repeat it, please? Can you say that again, please? Do you mind telling again, please? ¿Se acuerdan el uso de do you mind? Sí. Could you mind? Could you mind? Do you mind? Do you? No, es cool. Could you mind? No, es cool. No, no, no es cool. Could you mind? Do you mind? Okay. 
Do you mind? Do you mind telling her? Or would? Would you mind? I mean, would you mind? Would you mind? Mm -hmm. Would you mind telling again, please? See? Okay. Thank you. Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Okay, it's polite. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Dijo. Okay. Like, okay. Because they are a language. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, please. This is why they use a correct language, a correct form. Polite language, what is it? Polite language. Polite language. Polite language. Because they use the polite language. Polite language. They use a light language. Vaya. Thank you so much. Usted linda, yo soy Juan. Uh -huh. Vaya, empiecen. Thanks so much for calling. Brenda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of five two cup. No me cómo dijo que. ¿Cómo se dice cinco punto dos, teacher? Eso es five two. Five two. Y la siguiente cómo era, teacher? Cubic feet. Cubic feet. Pie cúbico. Cubic feet. Cubic feet. A tube processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for one Bye. year. Bye. Hoy yo comienzo. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for calling. Uh, Linda is speaking. How can, how can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5 that 2 co Q. ¿Cómo digo? ¿Qué era, teacher? ¿Cuál es Cubic feet? Q F T. Cubic cubic feet. Q F T. Cubic feet. Cubic feet. Así. Uh -huh. A turbo processor and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Can you repeat the please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Then uh, the warranty of this is for. Otra vez. Okay. Okay. Dice que qué compra, qué quiere, qué quiere Juan, qué quiere comprar Juan. Sería aquí. Sería aquí Juan. Juan. He want to buy a pro washer. The pro washer. The pro washer, huh? Normally, he want 
seis meses. Ajá. No, pero hay okay. garantías que usted, usted las paga por un año, por tres años y por cinco años para que le cubra. No, no podemos meter en el diálogo. Ahí está el teacher, oye. Ah, teacher, nosotros le agregamos el, el, el tiempo de, de la garantía. ¿Se lo quitamos sí, sí. o se lo dejamos? No, está bien. Ok. Pero, pero, let's practice again. Practiquemos otra vez. Yeah, solo una, una consulta, teacher. En la, en, la, en la pregunta número tres, que dice, um, are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Why? Yo le puse, she did, she did not give him the warranty information. ¿Eso es correcto o es otra cosa lo que hay que poner? No me escucho. No me escucho. En la número tres. Ajá. Están, haciendo, están utilizando estructuras polite, estructuras educadas. ¿Podría usted, puede darme la información? ¿Podría explicarme eso? ¿Podría eh, decirlo aquí? Son estructuras polite. Ah, pues es que esa pregunta no la entiendo a qué se refiere. Que si están okay. utilizando un... Que si están siendo educados entre sí. Mm, mm. Se cree que la conversación bien. es en un contexto... En un contexto formal, que están siendo educados ellos a la hora de hacer preguntas o contestar preguntas. Ah, sí. Bueno, entonces, sí, ellos son... Ellos tienen una conversación educada o ellos están siendo educados. They are... They are polite in the conversation. Mm -hmm. I can give you some details about impolite customers. <laughs> customers, yeah. yeah. Have you ever worked in a, a customer service? Not yet, but I am willing to, to work in a call center. Ah, cool. In English? In English. I am, I will take um, an extra course in call center. I hope so. Someday, maybe next this next year. Awesome! Yeah, you will. You will make it. Yeah, I would like. I would like to earn more than the minimum. <laughs> seven. seven bucks. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, I I have heard that. They earn seven boxes and in sales position, maybe more, right? Mm -hmm. But if you work part time, it is like 400, I think. Ah, really? The teacher that we had before, before you, and he, he, he was going to tell me about Telus by, by the end of the year, but. I don't feel oh. um, confidence and uh, I think that I need a little, a little bit more. I think training. you're ready. Do you think? Yeah. Th I'm thank you, but experience. That's yeah, it's been experience. But that's the reason why I am in this training because I, I am learning. For example, I didn't know about the, the, billing, the billing information the mailing information. And there are some stuff that I I don't know. And the tracking numbers, some words that are used in call center. Yeah, tracking number. Ese es lo primero que le van a pedir. What is your tracking yeah. number? Yeah. But I have the advantage ¿Y qué that... Hace, ¿Y qué hace el Wilmer en un curso de principiantes si ya sabe inglés hasta decir ya no? Uy. I got you in... Te la tengo en alto volumen aquí. Uy. ¡Qué oso! Ah, ah. Ya ve, ya ve. Eso es lo que yo digo. Aquí no. Pero uno aquí, oh. uno aquí sufriendo, queriendo aprender el ABC y estos bichos ya se saben hasta el zero... Y todo. I, I just, I don't want to be rejected again. 
So I have to learn. No, no, uh, hablen I español don't... porque yo no le entiendo nada. No, but... <laughs> But you, you're listening. It gets better when you listen people. I don't speak very well, but when you listen English from another person, you you learn. In my experience, I have learned in that way. Hey, Carolina. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am talking to you. <laughs> bye, practicemos, pues, bye. Practicemos. All right, there we go. Okay, I listen some of you speaking very well. I like it. You have you have improved a lot your pronunciation and your fluency. That's good. All right, uh, let's start. Let's see, okay, ahorita vamos a comenzar a, con la conversación. Vamos a pedirle que sea eh, Miss, Miss Brenda and Mr. Ronald. Okay. 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 Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Uh, hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the ProWashing? Of course. It has a capacity of 52 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent cable. I see. Uh, can you give me information about the world? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the world? Thanks. The warranty of it is for one year. Okay. Thank you very much for your your participation. Very good. Now, Miss Areli and Miss Jenny. Okay. okay. Thank, thanks so much for calling. Areli is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Areli. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5 point cubic feet, a turbo processor, and intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks, the warranty of it is for three years. Excellent, very good. Good pronunciation. All right, uh, Ms. Carolina and Mr. Wilmer. Okay. You first, Carolina. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Carolina is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Carolina. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It's a capacity of 52 cu cu feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. Cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat, repeat, repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of is this for five years. Thank you. Okay. We we'll buy it. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, uh, Mr. Elvin and Mr. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Elvin is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Elvin. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has capacity of five down two cockpits, 
and turbo processor and intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty or it is for 20 months. 24 months. Always it is it's for electrical issues. Okay. Thank you for the information. I'll be buying it next week. Got it. Thank you. Miss Sonia and Mr. Alexander. Okay. Uh, thanks so much for calling. Sonia is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Sonia. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has the capacity of 52 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for one year, Alexander. Thanks for information. Very good. Excellent. I thank you very much for your participation. Now, Ms. Marisol and Mr. Juan Ricardo Menademo. Okay. Linda, then, va, dele. Thank you so much for calling. Linda is a speak. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Crow, you cry. My song information about Type Pro Watcher. Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you grab my information about tax warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you grab my information about a warranty? Thank you. It is warranty is six months. Thank you very much. Information. Finish. Finish. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Miss Laura and Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas. Yo, primero, Laura. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Uh, okay. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course, it has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? And can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for two years. Thank you. Excellent. Good job. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Las palabras que están en, en amarillo son las que vamos a eh, practicar. Por ejemplo, tenemos How can I help, help you? Help you. Cuando se une la P con la eh, Y va a sonar help you. Help you. How help can I help you. you. Help you. Recuerden. Help okay, you. Okay. Help you. How can I help you? Help you. Dice también la la palabrita que va después de cinco punto dos. Low. No es como es. Low. Oh, tenemos, también tenemos. Could. Could you give me some information? Could. Clue. 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 No, no es clue, es clue. 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 Clue.
watcher es washer washer watcher 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 aquí tenemos washer washer muy bien eso ahí tenemos five two cubic feet five five two cubic feet five como Five two cubic feet. Five two. Five two cubic feet. Excellent. Five two cubic feet. También tenemos keyboard. 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 Inboard. Keyboard. 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 Can you give? Give. 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 Give information Give. about. Que suene la T al final. About. 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 Ok. También las palabras que terminan en, en T-I-O-N. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, information. Como una A. Information. No, no information. es Information. No es chat, es information. 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 Ok, es que escucho el chan. Es information. 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 Con una A. Una A cerrada. Shan. Shan. Information. Information. Así va, teacher. Information. And also we have, well, we have, we finished. How can I help you? Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Ahí tenemos cubic feet. Keyboard. Give. About. Information. Information. All right, good. Ahora vamos a ver el uso de can and could. Can and could. Ok, bueno, esta noche vamos a ver un poco sobre el uso de can and could. Can and could. Vamos a, eh, a enfocarnos en can como una, cuando expresamos una habilidad, pero también cuando pedimos como permiso o cuando solicitamos algo de una, de una forma educada, al igual que could. Eh, could tiene diferentes usos, pero nos vamos a enfocar únicamente para pedir algo o solicitar algo de una forma muy educada. Ok, si vamos a comparar can and could, could tiene un cierto grado de eh, cortesía, es mayor la cortesía que can. Ok, podemos decir que could es un 80% en cuanto a cortesía que y can es como un 50% para, pues, si tuviéramos la oportunidad de poner porcentaje. ¿Cómo sonaría could en español? Sonaría como podría usted, could you. Podría usted. Por ejemplo, si quiere decir, ¿podría darme su nombre? Could you give me your name? Could you give me your telephone number? Podría darme su teléfono. O could you give me your email address? Podría darme. All right. Vamos a ver los usos. Ok. Primero, can. Can eh, se usa como habilidad. Can. Y vamos. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Ok. Si alguien tiene móvil o iPad o tablet, creo que tiene el touch habilitado para que marquen cuál es ride a bike. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Ride a 
Excelente. Ok, ahora dance. 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 What is dance? Excellent. Very good. Uh, three. Skate. Skate. Muy bien. Excelente. Vamos con play basketball. Play basketball. Excellent. Miss Laura, Miss Marisol, Miss Arely, good job. Uh, sing. Sing. Number five. Sing. Excellent. Very good. That is number five. Number six, play the guitar. Play the guitar. Very good. Sky. Sorry, ski. Scuba diving. Scuba diving. Fish. Fish. Perfect. Use a smartwatch. Use a smartwatch. Okay, muy, muy bien. Todo acertamos. Eh, muchas gracias a los que podían estar marcando. Esas son las eh, habilidades que vamos a repasar este día. Ok, continuamos. Ok, scuba diving, fish, we have skate, sing, we have eh, use a smartwatch, play the guitar, ride a bike. Dance. Also, we have play basketball. Okay. Tenemos en afirmativo el uso de can y decimos we can we can play basketball. We can play basketball. La forma negativa de can es can not. Que en su forma en, en la forma corta o contractada es can't. 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 Por ejemplo, una habilidad que no puede realizar. I can't cook. I can't cook. Ok. La forma interrogativa. He can't play the guitar. La forma interrogativa es cambiando de, de lugar. Can antes del sujeto. Y decir, can he play the guitar? Nuevamente. And can he play Play guitar. Ok. Uh, yes, he can. No, he can. You can sing opera. ¿Cómo sería la forma eh, pregunta, Miss Arely? Puede activar su micrófono. Can you sing opera? Perfect. Excellent. Can you sing opera? Yes, he can. No, I can't. Tenemos They Can Ride a Bicycle. Miss Jenny Marisol, ¿nos ayuda? Can, can they ride a bike? Excelente. Can they ride a bicycle? Muy bien, excelente, Miss. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Ok, vamos a hacer oraciones. Tenemos los sujetos y tenemos la acción. Vamos a pedirle a Mr. Alexander que active su micrófono y nos diga la forma, eh, una oración en afirmativo y la otra eh, oración en negativo. La de chequecito es afirmativo y la X es negativa. He can swim. Bien, he can swim. He can swim. 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 Ah, ok, swim. En the negative form. Excellent. He can't swim. All right. Vamos a pedirle a mi Sonia que nos haga dos oraciones, una afirmativa y la otra eh, negativa, utilizando los dos pronombres. They, they can eat. I I can't eat. ¿Cuál es el, el verbo? Peter, si es skate o ski. Skateboard. Skate, okay. I'm sorry. Skate. Skate. Very good. They Mr. can skate. Okay. Con el siguiente. 
Vamos a hacer dos oraciones. Vamos a contrastarlas con la preposición but, que significa pero. Así como Superman can fly, but he can resist kryptonine. Kryptonine. Superman puede volar, pero no puede o no puede resistir la kryptonita. Por ejemplo, eh, what can and can they do? How about Spider-Man, Miss Brenda? He can um, fly. He can fly. But he can... Uh, he can... Can't... Uh, I don't know what it can eh, mostrar como se show have your face okay, he can't show his face excellent vamos con Mr. Wilmer eh, usted elige Mr. Eh, eh, <laughs> that's so funny el Leo Messi vamos a ver Leo Messi can play soccer very well very good. but maybe he can't play baseball Facebook, ok, ya, yeah. excelente. Vamos con Miss Laura, usted elige el personaje, ¿no? ¿Qué, ¿qué puede hacer o no, y no puede hacer? Uh, Donald Trump can touch the bottom. Uh -huh. And he can't, uh, no sé cómo se dice, mandato. Eh, Deme la oración. Uh, no puede. Mandar. Dar órdenes, por Bien, ajá, ajá, dar órdenes. Bien. Ajá. Give orders. Give orders. Ok, okay. good. Vamos con mis Arely, please. You choose, miss. Michael Jordan can play basketball, but he can't cook. <laughs> can't cook I think. Right? Yeah, we think, we think so. Ok, vamos con Mr. Elvin, mister. You choose. We have Batman, we have Bruce Lee. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Lee. I'm sorry? Bruce Lee. Ah, oh, okay, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee had character. Uh -huh. uh, but, pero, but. But, but, but can, can't, uh -huh. small. He can, what, sorry? Can, but can, uh, Skill, mm, no tiene mucha habilidad. Can skill. Es un box. No lo escuchamos. Se le fue la señal al teacher. Ahora? ¿Me escuchan ahora? Sí, hoy sí. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Excelente. Yes, yes. Yes. ¿Qué tal ahora? ¿Me escuchan? Yes, yes. Ok, yes. vamos con... Excelente, thank you. Vamos con Mr. Menedemo. SpongeBob o eh, Batman. Spon... Spon... Box. Spon... En Ken Spon a Box. ¿Cuál es la habilidad que puede hacer él? ¿Qué es lo que puede hacer? What can he do? Ser feliz. Ok, he can be happy. Be happy. Can be happy. All right. Can Good. be happy. 
Okay, Mr. Nicolás, José Nicolás, Batman. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué puede hacer y qué no puede hacer? Uh, I can use... No, Batman um, can. O uh, can. Batman can. Um... Um, mejor de Bob Esponja, teacher. Okay, SpongeBob, go ahead. I, I, Bob Esponja, I like water. Okay, eh, pero tiene que ser utilizando can or can't. I can, I can in, in the life water. No, entonces sería puede vivir en, la, en el agua. Oh, SpongeBob. Can ah, but, uh, I can I can no I no sino que es SpongeBob si usted me dice I, I es, me está diciendo yo I puedo can. estamos Please, hablando de SpongeBob cat burger okay can do burgers y qué es lo que no puede hacer SpongeBob uh, can't drive Bye. a car can't drive a car good Bye. Exactly. Can't drive a car. Diga, mister. En el caso de Batman, podría ser he can have uh, night vision. He can have night vision. Muy bien. ¿Y qué no puede tener? ¿Y qué no puede hacer? Uh, he can. Uh, uh, day vision. Di, visión de día, no sé. Ok, lo que él no puede tener es una fiesta en familia, porque es huérfano. He can have a family ah, party. Ah, no sabía okay. eso, pero huérfano. Ok, super, eh, Batman. Ok, muy bien. Muchas gracias a todos los que participaron. Ok. Vamos a la siguiente. Ok, también tenemos quién la podemos utilizar como para pedir algo. Can you open the window? Can you open the window? ¿Puedes abrir la ventana? También podemos utilizar Can I open the window? Y también podemos utilizar Could. Could you give me some information? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de estas dos preguntas? Que could es más educado. Es más formal que can. Es como cuando decimos en español. ¿Podés, dar, ¿Podés darme información? No es lo mismo que decir, podría darme cierta información. Podría es could y can es puedes. Could I go to the party with my friends? Could I go to the parties with my friends? ¿Podría ir a la fiesta con mis amigos? Could I go to the party with my friends? Could you give me some information? More formal, ¿ok? El uso de could es más formal. More formal. Voy a dejar la, la slide por unos par de segundos. Ok, continuamos. Can and can't match the sentence one until three to the situation A and C. Vamos a marcar las oraciones con permiso, eh, permission, possibility, or ability. Number one says, can you can download music from the internet. ¿Qué cree que es? Permiso, posibilidad, posibilidad o habilidad. Posibilidad. Permission. Possibility. 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 You can download music from the internet. Okay, ¿qué tal? He can speak five languages. Ability. 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 I'm sorry. Ability. Can you park your car here? 
permission. 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 Okay, you permission. have permission, possibility, and ability. Okay, vamos a hacer oraciones utilizando can or can y van a escoger una oración. Por ejemplo, voy a ayudarles con la número uno. Dice, park in handicapped spaces. Parquearse en lugares de discapacitado. ¿Qué es? Can or can't? Can. 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 ¿Verdad? No se puede. Ok, entonces el ejercicio B hasta el J. Eh, diciendo, can or can. Le voy a dar un, dos minutitos para que piensen cada una de las preguntas, de las oraciones. En cuál va a utilizar can, en cuál va a utilizar can't. Y después lo vamos a compartir con nuestros compañeros. Ok, two minutes. There we go. Action. Okay, you ready? Okay, Miss Jenny, letter B, please. Letter B. It's for um, Ken. Okay, eh, podría leer la oración con okay. que se considera, que se considera okay. que es Ken or, or Kent. Ken send personal email at work. Ken send, okay. Eh, letter C, Mr. Wilmer. Sí. Uh, you can't use internet to book a flight. Ah, no, you can. Oh, I got confused. Okay, don't be pequeña. You can use internet to book a flight. Okay, you can. Good. A uh, letter D, Miss Brenda. Can't uh, learn a language with a wisdom. Okay, very good. Miss Laura, letter E. You can. You can or you can't? You can't. Okay. You can work 18, 18 hours a day. Perfect. Letter F, Miss Arely. You can say what you think to your boss, but in the polite way. In a polite way, yeah. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I agree. okay. Mr. Juan Alberto, letter G, G, as in zero. You can jeans at work. Okay, you can't wear jeans at work. Yes. All right, uh, even if you work in a formal 
in a formal environment, you can't wear jeans. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miss Sonia, in, case, in your case, you're a teacher, yeah. right? So you can't. Okay, Miss Sonia, letter H, please. You can play computer games at work. Okay, you can't. Perfect. Letter I. Letter I. Mr. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Letter I. Letter uh, J. I. Can I. Can I. Okay. Eh, quiero ver. ¿Cómo le en, en la H, ¿eh, En la I. I. Can my cake pop copies is a bot. Ok, but... and finally, Mr. Elvin, Alexander, kiss your elbow. You can kiss your elbow. You can't kiss your elbow. Very good. She okay. Cada uno stopping. tiene un... Algunos tienen algún error. Entonces, quiero que me indiquen cuál es el error que ustedes identifican. Vamos a seleccionar estudiantes de forma aleatoria para que no se eh, ponga... Todo el ruido. Eso no se filtra el ruido. Vamos. Ok, Mr. Juan Alberto, número uno. ¿Cuál cree que es, considera usted que es el error en la número uno? Bueno, el primer error es que utilizan el verbo en we don't. Está utilizando el verbo don en negativo. Okay. Entonces tiene que ser can't. Ok, can't. Perfecto. Ok, la número uno. Dice Marta. Eh, eh, vamos con. Dice Marta. Vamos con Miss Laura, please. La número uno. She came to dance salsa. ¿Cuál es el error? You don't know? Ok. Eh, Miss Jenny, can you find the mistake in the number one? I think the is el, el two. Two, exactly. No utilizamos two. la proposición tú para separar los verbos. She can dance. Es la, correcta, la forma correcta. She can dance. Sin el tú. Vamos con eh, Mr. Elvin, la oración número tres. Carlos can use a smartwatch. Eh, can está mal escrito. Exacto. No agregamos S o S sí. los verbos en las terceras personas. Vamos con Mr. Wilmer. Martha no can sing. <laughs> uh, we don't use no. We use Marta can't sing. Perfect. Good. They can ride a bike. Miss Brenda, what is the mistake? They can ride a bike. Can they? Can they? Perfect. Miss Sonia. Ah, look at you. <laughs> Sonia doesn't Sonia, can Sonia, play chess. Sonia can't play chess. Sonia can't play chess. Muy bien. Vamos con eh, Mr. Edgar. Can Peter to play the guitar? El two. Can so, Peter sorry. play the guitar? Excellent. I can, can Peter play the guitar? Miss Marisol Menjibar. I can't to play the piano. I can't play the piano. Excellent. And finally, Jose Nicolás, Dam Dam Damian can take picture. Damian can take picture, Mr. Jose Nicolás. Ok, vamos con Mr. Ronald Gómez. Uh, teacher, uh, la S. La S en. En take. Takes, perfecto. Muy bien. Ok, ese fue el repaso de can and could. 
Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia de can y could, mis, mis Laura? ¿Cuál es la, la, la diferencia principal entre can and could? Can es como un poco informal y could es más formal. Perfecto, usted lo ha hecho. Muy bien, excelente. Could es más formal y can es, es menos. Ok, excelente. Vamos continuando. Give me a second, please. Ok, vamos a desarrollar el ejercicio 5. Exercise 5, page 22. Complete the question with can and could, then as a partner, and write the answers. Vamos a escribir eh, cuatro, cuatro preguntas. Una utilizando can you. La segunda, could you. Can you. And again, could you. Escribir preguntas. Después la vamos a, se las vamos a hacer a nuestro compañero. Y vamos a escribir la respuesta. Pero ahorita el paso uno es crear la pregunta. Make the question. Recuerde, can es... Eh, puede... Es menos formal que could. Ok, you have two minutes. Two minutes. All right, finished? No yet? Almost? Okay, got it. No yet? Okay, finish the questions. Okay, got it. Muy bien.
Ok, ahora que ya tienen eh, las preguntas, vamos a, vamos a hacérselas a nuestros compañeros y eh, anotar la respuesta. We're going to make the question to our classmate and write the answers. Ok, let's do it in trios. Ok, you will have three minutes. Three minutes to answer, to ask the question and write the answers. I can play the guitar. I eh, can't, pero, eh, verdad. Eh, no puedo, póngale. Ah, pues can't. With I can't. And, with can't. T at the end. Okay, I pero, can't play the guitar. The guitar, ok. Eh, profesor, le ponemos la, justamente la respuesta que él dijo. Yes, I can't play the guitar. O ponemos he can't play the guitar. Eh, puede decir he can't play the guitar. Ok, perfecto. No, he, he can't. can't play the guitar. The guitar, the guitar. Ok, could you open the door, please? Eh, yes, eh, I call the open eh, the door. Okay, his answer is yes. She yes, he could, right? Yes, he could. Yes, he could. Yes, yes he, could. he could. Can you cook the dinner? What? Can you cook the dinner? Puede Can cocinar you... la cena. Ah, uh, eh. Y después son dos y dos, son. Después puse. Eh, can you cook? Sí. Can you cook? Can you cook? Can you cook? Y en la four puse. Can you go to the meeting? Pero es en el... Ok, yo quiero ver. Can you speak five languages? En la dos, five languages. Language. Um, en la dos sería... Could you borrow me five thousand dollars? En la tres sería. Your email o o o en general. In general. Yes, I can. Elvin. Um, next question. Can you read me on the phone? Can you read? Can you read me on the phone? Can you read me on the phone? Read me on the phone. Read. Yeah. No, read. No, read. Read. 
con C, H, final, no con B. Can you reach? Oh, can you reach me on the phone? No, I can't. Hoy me bloqueó usted. Okay. Okay, otra vez. Can you reach me on the phone? Está bien como pronuncio rich, teacher. Rich. 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 No. Rich me on the phone. Alcanzar? Uh, uh, the phone. Okay. Can you reach the phone? It's okay. <laughs> Or could you? <clears throat> Or could you give me the phone? Uh, give me to the phone. I mean, well. mm -hmm. Could you give me Can the phone? Can you give me on the phone? Ah, my heart give me. Can you give me on the phone? Emma, pass it down. Could you give me the phone? Oh, give me the phone. Teacher, estábamos preguntando si con la de Q la, sería la misma línea para el, el negativo, couldn't. ¿En la respuesta o en la pregunta? En la, la respuesta. respuesta. Eh, solamente una respuesta, ya sea afirmativa o negativa. Pero ¿cómo sería la respuesta en forma negativa de Q? No, I couldn't. Oh, no, I couldn't. couldn't. Como en no es U, sino que R. Ah, con una R. Current. Current. Ah, ok. Current. I couldn't. Ok. Could you keep a secret? ¿Cómo? Could you keep a secret? Secret. Yes. Secret. <laughs> Secret. Yes, ah, I could. Secret. No, I couldn't. Secret. In my case, yes, I could. Okay. Una persona confiable. Está bien. Ok, good. Well, debido al tiempo, porque estamos pendientes con una conversación que creamos el, la clase pasada, vamos a escoger solo uno por grupo. Ok, para que nos diga la respuesta, la, las preguntas y las respuestas. Ok, del grupo número uno vamos a escoger a Miss Laura, please. La, cualquiera de las preguntas. Sí. O las tres, okay. ¿qué hizo? O las cuatro, perdón. La primera, can you feed my dog? And the answer is no. En el caso de Brenda dijo que no. No, she Entonces, can't. Brenda can't. Ah, ok. Or Brenda she can't. can't. Ok. She can't. En el caso, igual con, con el compañero Elvin. Elvin can't. can't. All right. La siguiente, could you lend me your computer? They, they could, couldn't. They couldn't. They couldn't. Eh, la siguiente, can you help me with the English homework? Eh, uh, sería, they can. They can, perfect. Y la última, could you keep a, keep a secret? Uh, they could. They could. Perfect, Miss. Thank you very much for your participation. Good job. Okay, now, Miss. Okay, uh, Miss Areli. Okay, I asked for, to Juan Ricardo. Mm -hmm. Can you play the guitar? And Juan Ricardo can't play the guitar. Could you, I said, could you open the door, please? And he said that he could. Can, 
can you cook the dinner? And he can, he said that he can cook the dinner. And um, I asked, asked him, could you send the invitations? And he said not, not, not he couldn't. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Ali, for your participation. Okay. Uh, how about Mr. Edgar Cruz? Mr. Edgar Jose. All right. How about Mr. Wilmer? Okay. I asked to. Oops. I, I don't remember the name. <laughs> I, I asked her. Let me see what is, what is she? And it does, where are you? <laughs> the new girl. Oh. She's not in this on the screen. Miss Erica, so, I think was it. Ah, uh, Erica, yeah. I asked her, can you drive a car? She said, yes, I can. Yeah, I asked her, could you bring your friends to this? English class, of course, she said she couldn't. Mm -hmm. And can you hold a 10 minute conversation in English? She said, of course, I can. <laughs> I asked her, could you open your mailbox? She said, yes, I can. Excellent. Very good, Mr. Uh, how about Mm, let me see. How about Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas? Eh, hice las preguntas, teacher, pero no me dio chance de que mis compañeras contestaran, pero si quiere, hago una de las que ellas me hicieron a mí. Excelente, excelente. Ok. Me, una compañera me preguntó que si, um, can you cook the dinner tonight? I answer yes, I, I can my dinner this night. Um, o, este, la otra compañera me preguntó, um, can you write in the document in, in computer? Eh, yo le contesté, yes, I can uh, read in, eh, eh, the documents in computer. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Vamos, let's finish with uh, Miss Sonia, please. The first sentence, uh, Nicholas. Can you play basketball? And Nicola said, said yes, I can. And the other sentence, um, could you borrow me $5,000? And I said, no, I couldn't. And the follow. Can you open the door, please? And he says, yes, I can. Excellent. Can you give me your cell number? And I say, yes, I could. Very good. Excellent. OK. Eh, OK, creo que estamos pendientes con la, con la conversación del día de ayer, ¿verdad? Ok, voy a asignarles eh, voy a crear 10 salas. Ok, se pueden poner de acuerdo eh, con los integrantes del grupo de ayer para ingresar a la sala. O lo, o lo hacemos manualmente aquí. Ok, por ejemplo, Miss Arely. ¿Quiénes eran sus eh, compañeros? I work with Elvin. Elvin. And we, and we finished the conversation. Ah, yeah, you finished, right. Yeah. Okay. Eh, Miss Brenda, who did you work with? 
with Ricardo Medemo and Carolina. Miss Carolina, ah, okay. Miss Carolina, she is not here. Okay, Mr. Edgar, who do you work with? Miss Jenny Marisol, who do you work with? With Wilmer. Wilmer. Only Wilmer? Sure, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir, I can. All I right. I can't hear very well. Got it. Okay. Uh, Mr. Jose Nicolas, who do you work with? Okay, Mr. Juan Al Perdon. Can you do work? Can you do work tomorrow? No, con quién trabajo el día de ayer? En la conversación. Con Mr. Laura Rivas. Got it. Uh, good. Miss Juan Alberto Rivas, who did you work with yesterday? Eh, no se encuentra mi compañera. Eh, no se me queda. Creo que es la que tuvo problemas en, con la computadora. Got it. Eh, okay. Erika. Entonces, eh, la vamos a asignar con Miss Brenda y Mr. Menedemo. Ok. Ok. Vamos con Miss Marisol. Who did you work with yesterday? Uh, Miss Sonia. Miss Sonia, got it. Okay, Mr. Eh, Ronald. Este, yo estuve con, quiero ver, creo que era un señor, eh. Eh, no sé, podría pronunciar ahí que no me acuerdo, no me puedo bien el nombre, creo que es Alas, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Galas, creo que. Que me confirme ahí, si, si no me equivoco. Ok, bueno. Entonces, ya vamos, vamos a darle unos minutos para que practique, después regresamos para decir.
Okay, are you ready? No logramos terminar, dice que nos queda otro, otros tres minutos más. Yeah. Okay, we're going to listen to Miss Arely first and Elvin because they already finished. Okay. okay. Hi, this is Arely. How can I help you? Hi, Arely. Could you hear? Could you give me some information about the Sony TV? Sure. What kind of information do you need? An information dimension on Way TV. Okay, this TV is seventy-seven inches long and its weight is 50 pounds. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. All right, uh, is there any other volunteer? Me? Okay, me, me, Jenny, and Mr. Wilmer. Okay, good. Go ahead. It's a little bit difficult, okay. Uh, good morning, technical support of Shop New. This is Wilmer attending you. How can I help you? Hi, Will. I need you to help me with the order I have made. Of course. You, you told me that you had you had problem in ordering through the store's website and you had a problem. Uh, what is exactly about? I add the product to the shopping cart and nothing happens. Do you have the website still open so I can accompany you during the purchase process? Yes, I have it in front of me. Okay, perfect. So let's try again. Do have you checked the shopping cart? Sometimes products are added and appear later. Could you check it up? It's located at the top and it has a green button. Yes, and there is nothing. Okay, well, then we are going to start the buying process again. It will only take a couple of minutes. Turn to the product card that you want to buy and select add the card. I really don't eat. Now it appears next to the shopping cart icon that's it appear no nothing appear as told you the website does not work for you and i am wasting time there may be a technical failure i will fix it but in the meantime i'm going to help you uh, to buy the product that you want tell me what it was and I will carry out the purchase process from here. Very nice. I call already some myself without him. And tell me, what is your product? They are blue shoes size eight. Check the price. It costs $50. Okay, that is it. Confirm your payment method? Yes, of course, with card. Can you give me the information of your card Tell me the digits, expiration date. Okay, it's 0, 0, 00123456789 and the day is 1022. Okay, let me a minute. Okay, thank you. Your order was successful. Okay, thank you very much for your help. Okay, we are here for helping you. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Good Hi. conversation. I like, really like it. Good job, good pronunciation and fluency, both of you, both of you. Okay, thank you very much. All right, uh, is there or are there some vo more volunteers? Tenemos algún voluntario? Marisol 
Good night. Marisol, greet you. How can, how can I help you? Thank you, Marisol. I saw in your webpage a product that interests me. What can kind of product is that? This is uh, skinny jeans, and I want to know if you have my size. Okay, tell me, what is your size, please? My size is 8-9. Yes, we have some models of your size. Then, uh, could you show me the colors that are available? Of course, please check the follow email and copy the call to orange your jeans. How do you like to buy cash or credit card? I'm going to pay with my credit card. Okay, I will send you a pay calling in a few minutes. Thank you, Marissa. Excellent. Good job. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate your participation through the class. All right, we have the students who already participate are Ms. Wilmer, Ms. Arely, Ms. Sonia, Ms. Elvin, Ms. Marisol. Excellent. Good job, all of you. Okay, are there some more volunteers? Next class. Okay, got it. Vamos a tomar la asistencia de este día. Eh, vamos a iniciar con Mr. Alexander Arondoño, Ms. Arely del Carmen Cortés de Peña. Present. Thank you. Ms. Brenda Lisette García Orellana. Present. Present. Carolina Sorry. Leonor Cardona de Alvarado. Edgar José Cruz Amaya. Elvin Alexander Alvarado Díaz. Present, teacher. Erika Beatriz Urbina Guardado. Mr. Francisco Antonio Renderos. KB Marisol Mengíbar Mengíbar. Present. Good night. Good night. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. José Nicolás García Maravilla. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Alberto Rivas. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado Vázquez. Present teacher. Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Present. Maritza Reyes López. Ronald Alexis Gómez Mendoza. Present teacher. Sonia Miriam Cortés. Present. Wilmer Fabricio. Present. Okay. Okay. Solamente hacer el recordatorio de haber finalizado la actividad número uno. Ya tengo la mayoría, pero hace falta un par que no han finalizado la tarea uno. También recordarles eh, que pueden ir avanzando en la tarea número dos. Okay. Para yeah. el final de semana ya finalizar. Okay. Y no se atrase en las demás actividades. Yeah. Ya la ha entregado, teacher. Ahora le, colo ahora le correspondía a Mr. Renderos el one-on-one, on one, pero no está presente. Así que vamos a finalizar la clase de hoy. So, see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Take care. God bless you. And bye-bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night.